this is the structure of factory method pattern we will see how this is implemented in python source here is the class product it has method use product it must be defined in subclass otherwise if it is used then it will throw error here is the subclass concrete product derived from product here it implements the method use product inside this it is just displaying this statement here is the class creator it has method factory method this must be defined in subclass otherwise if it is used then it will throw error here is the method and operation inside this it is calling factory method and the return value of method factory method is assigned to instance variable product then the instance variable product is returned from this method here is the subclass concrete creator derived from creator here it implements the method factory method inside this it is creating concrete product instance object and returns it so when the method factory method is called here it gets the concrete product instance object which is returned from here and that concrete product instance object is assigned to instance variable product and that is return okay we will see how all these classes are used here we are creating the concrete creator instance object and we are assigning it to variable prod creator then we are calling the method and operation of prod creator Prod creator is pointing to concrete creator instance object. So it will go to concrete creator and operation. So concrete creator is derived from creator. So it will come here and it will call the method factory method of self. So it will come here and the concrete product instance object will be returned and assigned to instance variable product and then it will be returned so return value is pointing to concrete product instance object and that will be assigned to variable prod so when the method use product of prod is called then it will go to concrete product use product so it will come here and it will display this statement okay we will run this program and we will see the output you can see when we are calling the method use product it goes to concrete product use product because when the an operation is called it goes here it calls the factory method which in turn returns the concrete product instance object and that concrete product instance object is returned from here so prod is pointing to concrete product instance object